Okay, welcome along you guys. My name is Mr. Ollie. I'm from the Little House of Science and I heard today you want to do some experiments, is that right? Yeah. Fantastic. Sound fun? Yeah! Fantastic. Should we get started? Yeah! Great, let's go! So, are we ready to get started? Yeah! Yeah, okay. So, for our first topic, we're going to learn all about light. So, I want to hear from you guys. Can you name some things that make light? Electricity, fantastic. So this light, this room here is lit up by electricity. Anything else? Uh, those flies. Wonderful, flies. yeah. Do you know what they're called? Mm, I forgot. They're called fireflies, a really good example, yeah. So even living things can make light as well. We'll talk about that too. Any other examples? We've got electricity, living things, great answer. Anything else? Mm. <gasps> mm -hmm. Fire. Fire, fantastic, absolutely right. And in fact, we're going to learn about each of those examples today. Uh, but let's start off with, I liked your suggestion, Lorenzo, of living things that make light. And I've brought something that comes from a living thing that does make its own light, but you need a very special way of allowing that light to come out. So this here is a, a torch. Is a torch, right, absolutely, but it's a very special torch. Can you press this button on the top? Now if you look, the colour that comes out, what colour is this? It's purple. Purple. This is an ultraviolet light. So that's the light that we normally can't see very well and it's very high energy. And if you shine it at the right things, it can make them shine themselves, it can make them glow. And we call that fluorescence. Can you say that? Fluorescence. Fluorescence, fantastic. So I've got two containers, both containing two different liquids. This one, plain old water. This one is mysterious. Slimy. We saw how slimy it was, that's right. This actually, I've put one thing that makes it all slimy, I and mean, that's for our experiment, and the other thing in there is something called tonic water. Have you heard of tonic water before? No. It's a very bitter tasting drink that people drink sometimes. And tonic water comes from, one of the ingredients comes from a tree, a living thing. And this thing just so happens to glow under this special light. So here's water. In fact, do you want to have a go at shining it onto the water here? Yeah. Anything happen? Mm, not really, no. Now... I see the reflection. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, and you can see that it's scattering out. But now let's try on this. Oh. Wow, look at that. What colours can you see now? Blue. Blue, almost a kind of a turquoise colour, right? Yeah, light yeah. blue, greeny colour, that's light right. Blue. So this is fluorescence. So this light is making our tonic water give out light just for a moment. So if you turn the light... Oh yeah, let's try that. So that's what's so cool about this stuff, is that it's actually making light, it's not just reflecting it like the water, it's actually giving off light all by itself, just because of yeah. how it's designed. So, I thought, see that sludgy stuff I put in there? Yeah. And that I poured all over the floor? Yeah, we're going to add that to another chemical. So in here, I've got something called calcium lactate. So it's a type of salt, not the salt you put on your chips, totally different type of salt, you don't really eat it, but... Would you like to pour a little bit of this powder into this cup? Just tip some in. Perfect, maybe a little bit more even. Great, perfect, fantastic. All right then. And, Lorenzo, can you pour a little bit of our plain old water onto the salt? Keep on going. Yeah, pour in loads. Can you drink it? Yeah, it tastes a bit strange, but it's not poisonous, don't worry. Perfect. That's great. Give it a little bit of a stir. And the salt is dissolving. It's not dissolving very well, but that's okay. Now all we need to do is pour this into here and something very strange the will happen. Whole thing. I think so. Well, let's start off with half. Give it a good, let's pour from a distance. Perfect. Now, we have created something. So in here we just have a liquid, would you agree? Just a little liquid? Yes. Yep. Once it went into here and mixed with our special salt, we changed that liquid into a solid. Or in fact, lots and lots and lots of solids. Is anybody feeling brave? Yes. So I'm going to shine this on. You'll be able to see it glowing. Can you see it glowing? Oh. And can you see all the little lumps inside? Yeah. What you can do is you can put your hand in and scoop some out if you want. But I suggest rolling up your sleeves first. Ooh, and 
actually see them glow. So now we've made some little fluorescent jelly balls. Pretty cool, huh? Wow! And that's it, that's fine. Scoop something up. There we go. They look like a crystal, like a, like a jelly crystal. Who mentioned fire as a way to create light? Me. Right, so let's see if we can do that, shall we? All right, so for this, we need some different chemicals. I've got iron powder in here. This is something called, iron. that's it, iron. This is called copper sulfate. Can you see that lovely color? Yeah. All right, we're going to see how they change how a fire burns. So if we come to one side, Philip, do you know what this is in here? That is something called ethanol. And, mm-hmm, well, now I would like you all to step back a little bit, but keep your eye about here. What? You see? Fire. Green Yeah, that's right. Have you seen a green firework before? No. Have you seen a blue oh, yeah. firework before? Yeah, you've probably seen green or blue? Yeah. They actually have copper inside of them. That's what makes them glow and blow up no, wait, into that I color. Why is it going away? So that the copper is being burned. So just like how when you get a piece of wood and you burn it, it turns into ash. It's the same thing here. So we're gonna do one more of these and we're gonna move on to making something that glows in the dark afterwards. So not glows in the dark like our alginate, but all like our... That's just the smell of this ethanol in here burning. So it has a slight smell to it. So this next one, iron is my favorite one. It is used in fireworks that glitter and glow. Have you seen those big white ones that go used in those. So I'm going to pour a little bit, I'm going to put some fire again, and we're going to put in some iron. Now you ready? This is my favourite. So here we go, you ready? Oh. What colours do you see here? Orange. Orange. Do you see any white as well? Yeah. Yeah, it's awesome, isn't it? Yeah. Pretty cool, huh? This is like firework. Yeah, like, like. It is, it's, it's literally a mini firework, that's right, yeah. Like the things they do when they win around the mm -hmm. stadium. Yeah, yeah, that's like a sparkler, right? Yeah. Yeah. Are you ready to get your hands dirty? Yes. And yes. to make something, we're going to try to make some glow in the dark slime. So you've probably made slime before, right? Yes. Yeah, have Kai made that before? Uh, I no. think. Maybe. Well, let's see. So I'm going to give you all a cup each. And if you've made it before, correct. So if you've made it before, you know that it starts off with glue, right? So we take some sticky, sticky glue. Pour it in here. Now, if you put your fingers in the sticky glue, what happens? Your finger gets stuck to it. Exactly. So leave it. Is it like super glue? This is not super glue. This yeah, is PVA is, is glue. It, so like glue? it is super certainly glue. going to stick things together. What we need to do, though, is we need to make this glue change so that it only sticks to itself and not to other things. <coughs> yeah. So to do that, first of all, we need to make it more sticky. And there's an interesting way of making glue more sticky. You add baking soda. So I'm going to add a little bit of baking soda to each of your cups, like this. Well, the baking, yeah, the baking soda. The baking soda will make it just a little bit more sticky. A little bit like salt. Yeah, and you know what? It is actually a type of salt, just like our calcium lactate. Baking soda is another type of salt. So, Can I use color. Uh, we sometimes use it in cooking. So this is our color, which will hopefully make our slime glow oh, in yeah, the dark. Like those colors, it's like light a bit, like light yellow. Mm -hmm. This one hopefully will be a nice blue. Mm. Right, we may need to add some more of that later. But last ingredient, most important one. In here, in this test tube, I have something called boric acid. It's a very, very weak acid in here. But what it will do is it will change your glue and turn it into slime. You'll see it sink in. Can you see it sinking in? What I'm going to do is I'm going to first of all it looks like a piece of get my finger in there and I'm going to give it a starting stir for you and then I want you to put your fingers in. Can you do that? Yeah, so I'm going to yeah. start, up, start it off for you and then gonna you're going to finish that. You ready? You can now start mixing yourself. Mix and mix and mix. Mm. Yeah. yeah, that's it. Keep on stirring. Oh yeah, it feels like very sticky slime. Mm -hmm. 
with like something hard in front. That's it. So you want to press on that little hard part and see if you can break it up. Okay, Boris, off you go. Very good. Keep I'm stirring trying, around. But it's going away. Yeah, that's it. Give it a good stir all the way around the outside. Yeah. Oh my <laughs> so I think now you're nearly ready if I take this out. Now it looks terrifying. And actually it should be fine. Just need to give it some good squishing. Good mixing. <laughs> you can rub your fingers together, it should come off. Oh my god, look at that. Oh yeah, perfect. Oh, yeah, this come off. Here we go. So and now it you've feels got like normal now. Yeah, that's it. it. Feels like a normal finger. Perfect. So here is one lump of slime over here. <laughs> and here we go there. So I'll collect this all up together. Are you ready? Nice. Squish, 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 squish. Oh yeah. So now your slime will stick to itself more than it will stick to you. So there we go. Like right, some more. This is like Are you ready a sticky ball made out of slime. So like if you throw it, it'll touch. That's right. It'll do both. So if you're really gentle with it, it'll act like a liquid and it will pour. And if you're really firm with it, it will bounce around like a ball. Yeah. So. Now for the test. Whoa! <laughs> it's run away, go catch it. Okay, should we see if it glows in the dark? Yeah. yeah. Okay, gather round. Keep your slime balls up close over here. I'm gonna try to, can you see it's already glowing really brightly? Yeah? Can you see how brightly it's glowing? I covered it and it like glows. Yes, yeah, yeah, if you keep it in the dark of your hands, you'll see that it glows. Can you do that? Can you cup it into oh, your yeah, hands I like this? Oh yeah, I did it and I can see like so yeah. much blue. Yeah. You ready? So if you put it down here, Boris, I'll charge it up with the ultraviolet light and then put it in the dark. Zoe, Zoe, do this. Yeah, it'll do be this. Blue. Yeah? Blue. See it glowing? It's so blue. Would you like me to charge it up again? There we go. You ready, Lorenzo? I'll try to bounce it again. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, did you enjoy that? Was it good fun? Yes! And guys, don't forget, keep exploring, keep learning, and keep having fun. See you at the next adventure. Yeah! yeah.